Hi Virgo, welcome to your end of May 2021 general tarot update. It's Raina here. So uh, the big event is the lunar eclipse in Sagittarius. For you, this is going to be the fourth house in, of home and family. If you're born within the first few days of um, August or on the off chance that you're listening, that you're watching this for your rising sign, um, this would be the first few degrees, will be in your fourth house of home and family. Could be major endings, but not necessarily anything on the mundane level. I mean, of course, you could sell a house. You could decide to move if you've been attached to an area for a really long time or your hometown and decide to move somewhere far away. But uh, the possibility is also on the psychological level of letting go of something from childhood that has you know, plagued you, kept you back, or maybe you've been blaming something for being the cause of um, all of your problems. And it's really because of your own um, maybe unwillingness to look at um, whatever that is. Um, there, there's the uh, Eight of Swords to back me up. Wow, you have some wonderful cards here. You really do, and you have a lot of major arcana cards. You have fifty percent major arcana. The heart of the matter is the star card. This is a card that's associated with Aquarius, and it's about uh, feeling um, hopeful again in your life. When I I remember pulling this card once and feeling this sense of relief because I had just learned. Um, a higher meaning for it because I was associated with, you know, making your dreams come true or, you know, following that, that star and having your dreams come true. And when I read that it can be this sense of healing, hope renewed, well, that implies that there was a time when you felt, um, you know, what's the, the term uh, disillusioned or something like that about your life. And it's like feeling much better about it. Sorry, I'm trying to <laughs> trying to put my sandals on correctly. Um, yeah, so that can feel very inspirational. This can be a card of being contacted or nudged by um, crossed over loved ones, like parents who have passed away, other loved ones, um, uh, spirit guides, to with more activity with with something uh, specific. Uh, maybe through a dream or whatnot that feels like you're, you know, like for some people, they may have gone through something that maybe even questioned their belief in God altogether, and then they get a sign and it restores it. In the past position, we have the Ten of Cups, and this is a card of family harmony. And so this is a, a very nice card. This is also a marriage card. And this doesn't have to be your marriage, though. though. Maybe your um, adult child has tied the knot or has uh, even, I would say, have a, had a child and you have become a grandparent. And maybe you had a little bit of lull in your life where you didn't feel like there was anything happening or um, anything to look forward to. And now you have this um, happy event in your family that makes you feel very good. And yeah, you know, even like, let's say you're the aunt who doesn't have children of your own and your sister or brother has a child. And now you feel like you can dote on this and it's actually bringing the family together. Um, so that's very nice. So there's something that has a, a connection with other people and this and then the higher message is the chariot card. This is a card connected to cancer. And it's a card of victory, um, you know, transcending um, opposing forces. And so we have the black and white horses of uh, duality. And the person is in the driver's seat of his, his life. And basically, um, you know, you may, like I said when I was talking about what the star card implied, you may have gone through a rough patch and you had to um, use, utilize everything in your power to 
um, not get sucked up in whatever this was, not to get sucked up in the drama. And because you were able to do so, you were able to um, remain, um, you know, with um, your sanity, um, you know, emerge with your sanity and and get past the challenging part of it. Now, it's interesting because I, I look at the uh, challenge card and we have the justice card. This card is connected to Libra. So, of course, it could be somebody who's a Libra who isn't really on your side or um, who hasn't been uh, helpful to you in this time of need. Or maybe this is somebody you've gotten divorced from. So the Ten of Cups, you know, that could be a divorce because you leaving a person who maybe is a narcissist, uh, abusive in some way, that helps the rest of the family. If you have children living at home and they have to be part, you know, subjected to a parent who is not kind to them, or if it's a step parent who you have left, um, they can breathe a sigh of relief when this person is gone and you are healing from that situation yourself. Um, if there is a legal case and there is a sense of unfairness with this case, um, you know, when I, like I said, the star card could even be like loved ones who have crossed over. So if there's an inheritance issue, for instance, and you um, thought that that everybody was on the same page in the family and it feels like there is like some unfairness going on you have to decide if you you're going to uh, fight this battle Virgo because um, even if you get less money from a situation if you're not embroiled in a um, emotionally taxing type of, um, you know, situation, that can make you um, be able to heal better anyway. So um, there is a lot of hope with the star card, but it doesn't mean that you're out of the woods because somebody may be still feeling like they were wronged in some way. And again, I mean, even it's funny because I, I've heard this expression that the courtroom is the narcissist's playground. And my heart just sank because I realized uh, the total truth in that and how um, these are the um, areas, the battlefields that the narcissist loves to be on because they can they can drag other people through negativity and that person, the other person may feel justified. Like they are being obviously wronged. The narcissist may know that they're doing something that is not fair. Um, that is part of the game is to, you know, create this idea that the other person feels that they are being picked on, that they are, you know, that they are a victim. So, you know, like the chariot, you've already learned this lesson that you have to rise above the fray in order to um, make things happen. And I think maybe as a spiritual message, it's like reminding you to continue to do that, that, that that's something that has worked for you thus far. What is coming in is the eight of swords. This is this can be a feeling of um, sometimes learned helplessness, I would say based on old tapes that you are playing. And Virgo is very, you're very hard on yourself. So whatever is going on here, you have to um, catch yourself. You have to clean up your vibration by cleaning up your thoughts. We can't suppress our thoughts, though. It's important that we examine our thoughts, not to suppress them. Let them, let it, let her rip. But as you have these um, self-defeating thoughts, ask yourself, where is this message coming from? Is this truly coming from me? Or is this something that somebody always told me or always implied that I was? 
And, you know, is this something, and you know, in some cases you may have to fight something. That would be the wise thing to do because on the other hand, you can't allow people to bully um, others unfairly. I mean, not that there's such a thing as fair bullying, but you know what I mean. That to, to, to get away with bullying and actually profit from it. If it's something to do with uh, money and, of course, lawsuits, when are they not? <laughs> Most of them are. It's not just um, criminal activities. The outcome is favorable to you, Six of Wands. This is victory. This is Leo energy. So maybe it's even a timing of when your victory will arrive. It looks like the summer with uh, the chariot and the Six of Wands. And um, it's also the card of other people giving you love. Of What I mean by love is more like appreciation. So... People seeing how hard you work, seeing, you know, how sincere you are, how you want to help people, Virgo, instead of taking you for granted. So it's your day in the sun and you have the star uh, leading the way and showing you, you know, where to go. Okay, that's what I have for you, Virgo. I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you would like a private reading, I'm primarily an astrologer and I do uh, natal chart interpretations, I have the moon in Virgo, so I tend to be very uh, <laughs> uh, detailed about certain things, and um, if you if you would like to work with me, um, you can see what I uh, offer. I have like special double readings right now um, that are at special price for extended readings, um, but anyway, the link is below. Thanks for watching. Take care.